We've taken advantage of a family vacation to Turkey Run State Park to film this demonstration from the suspension bridge, which crosses Sugar Creek. I think you'll agree this is a beautiful location for getting some video of the slinky drop. We're filming this with two cameras. On the high-speed camera, you see the action just as you would if you were standing there with us, and we're able to perceive motion at 300 frames per second. That's at least 10 times faster than your eyes and brain normally process images from the world around you. The second camera is a little GoPro Hero 2 video camera. It only films 60 frames per second, but it does it in stunning HD resolution. It's also small enough, rugged enough, and light enough that I don't mind dropping it off the bridge. You see the camera in some of these long shots. It's suspended from a length of rope so that I can position it to be just about in the middle of the slinky. Both the camera and the slinky are dropped at precisely the same time. The camera gives us a, the point of view of the slinky. That's the center of mass reference frame for you physics buffs out there. Any falling object influenced by the force of gravity will accelerate toward the Earth at about 9.8 meters per second squared. For an extended object, which may have parts which move around, you have to look at the middle of the object. That's the center of mass. The center of mass point will be accelerated at precisely 9.8 meters per second squared, regardless of how the rest of the object moves around. Of course, the center of mass point may change relative to the rest of the object as it bends, flexes, stretches, and moves around. Now I've got the video stopped at the point where the slinky is gathered together. It's easy to see that the center of mass is simply the middle of this combined bundle. Since the camera is in the center of mass frame of reference, the center of mass of the slinky will stay in this spot on the screen. As we slowly rewind the video, you see both ends of the slinky extend away from this point. The top is under more tension and is stretched more because it's holding up the weight of the entire slinky. The bottom coils are almost completely relaxed because they support no weight other than the rope. The top is drawn in faster for this reason. From the center of mass frame of reference, you see that the slinky is simply drawing itself together.